President Joe Biden visited Capitol Hill on Friday to urge his fellow Democrats in Congress to overcome divisions that threatened his agenda after the House of Representatives postponed a vote on his $1 trillion infrastructure bill that already passed in the Senate with bipartisan support. I'm telling you, we're going to get this done. It doesn't matter when. It doesn't matter whether it's in six minutes, six days, or six weeks. We're going to get it done. The rare trip to the Capitol capped a tumultuous week that saw lawmakers narrowly avert a government shutdown. Fresh disagreements emerged among Democrats over the size of a multi-trillion dollar companion bill that would fund health, education and climate measures. And the president acknowledged in a closed door meeting that Democrats currently did not have enough votes to pass the two massive spending bills. Members of the party's progressive wing have vowed to block the $1 trillion infrastructure bill until they can be sure moderates don't derail the larger social spending bill. Progressives are angry that two moderate Democrats in the Senate, Joe Manchin and Kirsten Sinema, oppose the sweeping $3.5 trillion bill. Manchin has proposed a spending package of about $1.5 trillion. Sinema on Thursday declined to say whether she agreed with that proposal. But amid the drama, Democrats face another more pressing issue than the infrastructure fight, raising the nation's debt ceiling. What would be a historic U.S. debt default could occur on October 18th, according to an estimate from Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, if Congress fails to give the government additional borrowing authority. Republicans have said they want no part in approving the debt limit increase, saying it's the Democrats' problem. Though Democrats have noted that about $5 trillion of the nation's debt is the result of tax cuts and spending passed during the previous four years when Republican Donald Trump was president.